Today we've got the Ivation 1080p dash cam. There's no other model name than that. Uh, its retail price was $139.95 Canadian at Amazon.ca. And it's a very feature rich, uh, feature laden camera at that price. Now there's not a lot of buttons on this camera. Uh, in fact, there's only one, it's a little slider button which is on the very bottom of the body which is currently hidden from view and up comes the warning don't look through the small camera when you're driving look through the big windshield and then it goes on to auto record and we're going to stop that right now uh, here's the first surprise it's actually a touch screen and on the top right you can see a little satellite symbol which lets us know that we've got our GPS connected. So that's what we've got. We have a 1080p touchscreen built-in satellite GPS. Let's just show you that. Zero kilometers an hour pointing north at 2.04 in the afternoon. And it has built-in Wi-Fi. Let me get into a glaring problem with this camera. Uh, this is not the original windshield mount. The original suction mount was considerably smaller than this with much weaker suction and as a result it frequently did this. So the wise heads at Ivation wisely chose to use a more universal style of suction cup windshield mount and I'm very happy for them for doing that. Um, this is actually the suction cup mount from the MG288 which doesn't have the same problems. It's a much lighter camera with a much larger suction cup windshield mount which simply does not fall. So this is the front of the camera. It simply has obviously the lens itself. The over a hunk of plastic overlooking the lens is the built-in GPS module. And then the branding data, Ivation Full HD 1080p. Let's have a look at the top of this. We'll see we have the built-in GPS mount, and then we also have where the windshield mount goes, the suction cup, and it slides into this little thing right here. It looks something like this actually. That hooks into that little slidey thing and that slides together and everything's good. Now on this side we have the micro USB charger. Uh, you, obviously it provides power and charging to the battery. Uh, this one is battery equipped so it will stay on after you take the USB cord out. On this end we have the one button that I mentioned. It, sl it slides to cover and lock in the mini SD card which you can see in that slot there. So this just turns the power on. One and only button on the camera and now, well, we're upside down, and that turns it on. And that's it. The fourth side has nothing on it whatsoever.
just want to sum up my review of this camera, the iVation uh, Full HD dash cam. Uh, they packed a lot of technology into this camera. Um, it's a smaller camera, it's not large at all. To have built in Wi Fi, to have built in GPS, to have lane departure warnings, all of that built into a price point at $140. So that's a fantastic value. In my opinion, this is one of the value leaders in the dash cam market right now. You get a lot of bang for your buck with this camera. Um, my one and only negative thought with this camera relates to the shitty suction cup mount they sent with it. It's, it's undersized. I think they made a mistake with that one. Very minor. They, they had some forethought and they used a fairly standard suction cup mounting system so that you can change that out for a much larger and stronger suction cup. Um, still, overall, very good value for your money. Very impressed with Ivation. Hope to see more cameras from them in the future. Would like to see a 4K. Would like to see a dual dash cam, a two camera setup. Um, looking forward to their product. It's worth buying, I recommend it.